iMovie, you may or may not know that one of the ways uh, to build to make a video is to use a, a bunch of pictures and put them all them in the timeline, and then the iMovie itself will apply some filters to make some nice transition from one picture to another. So in this case, for example, I have already copied some pictures in my clipboard, and as you can see here, I have some pictures and one after the other they all got this effect that it's called Ken Burns so the the style works this way so you define a start frame a start area from the picture and then there is an, I an end area to the picture and then when you run it you have this effect of zoom in zoom out it's pretty common right it's pretty famous like in this case there is no transition applied but uh, by default iMovie is adding a 4 second transition so this effect is during 4 seconds by default and this is also something that is configurable so you can also configure it so that when you paste or drag and drop some pictures in the timeline you also can default to crop to fill or just fit now what I wanted to show you here is that there is kind of a problem depending on your style of making videos. So in my case, for example, I wanted to pay to uh, to give the user, my, my viewers, the possibility to see the last part of the frame for more than one second. So in this case, for example, when I get at the end, as you can see at the end, there is an immediate transition from one frame to another. Obviously, I can add other some transition. Obviously, I can put transition here. So now I have one second from one frame to from one clip to another, right? But my idea was to have like one or two seconds of frozen frame before switching to the transition, so that you you reach the end point of the clip, and then you stay here like this for a couple of seconds. Then you transition, you transit from one clip to the other right unfortunately this is not possible with iMovie because for some reason with the picture with the pictures you cannot use the add freeze frame because this is exactly why what this feature is about adding a freeze frame so if you have a video you can add uh, if your clip is uh, an actual video you can add the add a freeze frame to do exactly for exactly that purpose to have one, two, or some seconds of freeze frame. So there is a workaround here. So <coughs> to make possible to have a freeze frame in uh, in a picture where a movie is not by default is not does not enable to do it. What you need to do is this. So you already have the Canberra's effect here. Remember that there is always a, a start area and the end area and the cameras transitions for from the start to the end right so to make it possible to have one second of frozen frame here what i usually do so you could say like okay i could copy the same picture again here but the problem is that since you have the cameras effect the problem is that your picture is not the full picture unless of course you want to have the full pictures but if you want to keep the Cambrons effect the problem is that your final picture is this end here it's not the whole picture so you can if you if you move to this picture to another picture you have to have this part as the the picture that you see here at the end of this clip so let's see how you can actually simulate the freeze frame so the idea is that you copy this clip so now i cannot paste directly here because if i paste directly here the problem is that i am pasting in the middle so th what i'm gonna do is pressing arrow down so with arrow down i am skipping to the next frame so here i add again the same frame so here i have the same frame here the same clip and this is also doing the cam burns right so now here is the kicker 
So at in this very frame, first of all, I want this to last for only one second, right? But not only that, but I want to freeze the end. Here I have the start which is selected. So what I want to do is to click to use this button here to switch start to end. And then I click crop to fill. And now this clip here, the clip here represent the exactly the end of the current burn effect for the first clip. So as you can see here, now we are running the video. And finally, we have one second of still frame for the last one. Okay, so let's try it again. So for example, on the last frame here, you have to copy it, you have to paste it, paste it, and then here you can go in the editor here, swap the end of the start, and then crop to fill, and then set this to one second, and we are done. Let's see. There you go. That's all I have for today. Thank you.